August 10, 1984. A barefooted exiled African athlete is entering the Olympic Stadium to run a 3000 meter final. But before we talk about that, let's go back a bit. Zulabad was born on May 26, 1966 in Bloemfontein, South Africa. She grows up walking barefooted and naturally starts her running career without using shoes. She gains worldwide notoriety at only 17 when she breaks the world record of the 5000 meters. Her time is not recognized, however, due to Bud's nationality. South Africa has practiced apartheid since the end of World War II, a policy of strict and brutal racial segregation. Black populations are confined to the poorest regions of the country, and political activists are killed or put in jail. The country's policy provoked international boycotts, and South Africa was banned from participating in any international sporting event. Zola Bird gained British citizenship to be able to compete at the Los Angeles Olympic Games of 1984. Her participation provokes the anger of some associations, which see her as a symbol of apartheid. She joins the United States to take part in the 3000 meter competition. Her main rival is two-time reigning world champion in the 15 and 3000 meters, Mary Decker. Both athletes are leading the race at the end of the fourth lap, when suddenly... An old quarter there, now this is the danger, and Decker's down! Oh, the world champion, and one of the famous... Mary Decker had to be carried out of the stadium, and Zola Bud, hurt by the accident, only managed to finish sixth. The collision caused a real scandal in the United States. The runner from South Africa is accused of having kicked her opponent, despite the conclusions of an official investigation, who concluded this was a race incident. Back in England, Bud continues to face protests demanding she be banned from meetings. She continues her career brilliantly, however, and wins the World Athletics Cross Country Championships in 85 and 86. She once again breaks the 5000 meter world record, which this time was homologated. She's one of the favorites of the upcoming 1988 Games. Political pressure against Bud's participation reaches the point of no return after she travels to South Africa, where she is said to have taken part in a race, which is then strictly prohibited by the international boycotts. This time, the entire British delegation is threatened with being banned from the Games. Zola Bud denies having raced that day, but is nevertheless excluded from the Games, ending her British international career. Nelson Mandela was released from prison on February 11, 1990, after 27 years of imprisonment. The apartheid regime, weakened by the international boycotts among other factors, was gradually dismantled in the early 1990s. Nelson Mandela became the country's first president elected by universal suffrage on May 10, 1994. In the 1980s, collective taxes within black neighborhoods were called Zola Bird in homage to the speed of the barefooted athlete. Anti-apartheid singer Brenda Fassi chose that name for her single Zola Bird, which has become one of the main songs of the movement for racial equality in the country. Zola Bird was able to compete under the South African banner at the 1992 Olympics after the lifting of international sanctions, but her level did not allow her to reach the final. She ended her international career in 1994, but still runs marathons to this day. Put aside because of her origins, and thrown as a teenager on the political scene on which she refused to play a role, Zola Bud was the victim of the same discriminations that those who kept her from going to the games wanted to fight. A world in which the place of birth determines whether or not one has the right to express oneself in life or on the track. As she said in 2016, I think in the past I've been labeled many things and um, so people have a certain narrative about me and they want me to live according to that narrative and ne ne nobody ever asked me my side of the story. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, chances are you will like the other sport documentaries on the channel. So don't hesitate to leave a like, subscribe and check my other videos. See you very soon on Out of Bounds, Legendary Athletes.